What's happening today, guys? This is Ast Cross bringing you Universe Remote. This is a shotgun being sold by Zer this weekend. Now, the things about this shotgun is it is a primary exotic shotgun, so that throws away your normal primary loadouts. But let's take a look real quick and see what it has. See smooth ballistics, soft ballistics, CQB ballistics, whichever one of these you want to do. Um, probably between soft and smooth is what I'm going to probably go for, depending on the range and how much penalty the impact I actually get now the other uh, other perk that you have loaded out with it is crowd control now crowd control is pretty nice but on a shotgun normally it's not really utilized that well simply because most of the time shotgun kills are already a one-shot kill and since this is not a very quick rate of fire shotgun it is an average rate of fire it's not a lot you can utilize out of it improve range and accuracy hammer forge that is the ultimate thing weapon tool weapon you can want on your shotgun always want to have hammer forge it makes Makes every shotgun a lot better and so I'm really pleased to see that this shotgun has that and then universal remote range and precision damage increases greatly so that is the key perk to this and I'll actually list here in a little bit of what it actually does and how much it actually improves that range of precision but let's take a look at some PvP clips and see exactly how it did I actually played with it this morning and it was fresh out the box the main thing about it is, again, it's fresh out the box, not even hardly uh, upgraded it, and it was already doing really well straight out. Now, you have to get your loadout a little different than what you're used to. Think about it. You're taking up that primary exotic slot that you normally would have uh, with something else, maybe with Last Word or, or even Hawkmoon. Now you're having to use this, this shotgun. So what I actually did was had like a quick snipe. Uh, Pradence Revenge, you can use other snipers as well, and that's what I had as my secondary, and most of the time I just ran around with that Universal Remote. Now, it's a fun gun. That's one thing I like about this weapon is it's really fun. I mean, when I was using it, I loved this, the style in which it played with. I loved the stability that it had. It was smooth. It was hardly any kick to it. It was just a fun weapon to use, and it's kind of just, it's just weird being able to just say, you know, I'm using that primary exotic uh, shotgun that no one really gives a shit about because I remember when people back when whenever Universal Remote was introduced to Destiny uh, everyone just kind of disregarded it said it wasn't a good shotgun and I'm not saying it's amazing but it's one of those that's just fun to use it's it's like Mina Multi-Tool to me. Mina Multi-Tool is extremely fun to use as well. Is it the greatest? No I wouldn't say it's the greatest I wouldn't I would still probably use a hand cannon over it but it's still really fun, you know, so, and that's what I got out of this gun, it was extremely fun, uh, it was very agile, and it worked really well for the hunter. Now, with that being said, when I actually do get it completely loaded out with the uh, Universal Remote uh, perk itself and with Hammer Forge, I feel like this weapon will be a monster. Uh, most of the times it just you know this is after patch guys so what you're actually seeing right now is there's been a nerf in range and so that's why it's not as effective over those distances but if you want to go look at other shotguns like fell winters uh, lie and, and uh, two to the morgue and those other shotguns that are really loaded out in high impact and long range I think this shotgun right here actually can beat those legendaries now of course they're legendaries and this is the exotic and so honestly you, you would assume that the exotic would win out but I really honestly want to say that this will be the better weapon simply because you get that faster rate of fire now depending on what your role is with like weapons like two to the morgue and those other crucible or, or vanguard shotguns um, that all depends you know you can get a really good roll and I've seen some of those rolls that are really good so but either way guys I was really happy with this shotgun so when you actually do get on this evening I really suggest going and uh, giving it a try, buying it. If you got the strange coins to blow, get it because it really is a fun weapon. I mean, that's what it's about. I mean, I'm using it right now, and yes, I guess you could say my KD would probably be better if I stuck to the same usual loadouts that I usually do. But to be honest with you, I liked messing with this shotgun, and I enjoyed it the entire time. And so I highly suggest just checking it out and seeing if you might like playing with it and also if you're a titan as well defender class titan um 
it's really really good to use this i've actually seen clips of people actually using universal remote with the defender class and so i don't know what it is about i guess being able to run around and uh, use your force barrier so if you had your gauntlets like no backup plans with that force barrier as well uh, those things can go a long way in keeping you alive when running around and just shotgunning on the map so just some options it all works and it all depends on the user itself so I enjoyed playing it uh, with my hunter and uh, I thought he was did it work really well in his hands so alright guys well I really appreciate y'all coming to watch me out like and subscribe I'll catch y'all later